Hey there everyone, welcome to CAD Essential Engineering Design. In this video, you will learn how to model a spiral staircase with the help of cylindrical and reverse cylindrical coordinate system in StratPro. And also you will learn about the formula to calculate the number of steps with respect to the angle of rotation. And after finishing the modeling part, I will also explain the analysis and design part with all results and load effects. If you are new to this channel then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for the notification. I am very hopeful that you will like this video and it's my request to all of you to visit my previous videos to know about the geometry part or the fundamental part of the step pro. So let's get started. The floor plan of the spiral staircase will be like this. Here is the total angle of rotation. which is 360 degree and the angle of rotation for landing is 60 degree and each steps will be 30 degree so the number of steps will be 360 minus 60 divided by 30 is equal to 10 numbers okay so the main part is you have to obtain the number of steps with respect to the angle of rotation. Here I have calculated the number of steps. So the radius r is equal to 1 meter. And the formula of cylindrical coordinate system is r theta y. And reverse cylindrical coordinate is r y theta where r is the radius theta is the angle of rotation and y is the height say the floor to floor height is 3 meter so we have to define the coordinate as per this formula r theta y and r y theta and before we have to specify the node number see the node number is 1 so the radius is 1 and theta is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 for the first spiral and the next spiral the next node number will be 24 and the radius will be 1 and the height will be 3 and the angle will be 300 The next node number will be 25 and the value of radius will be 3, angle will be 0, 0 and the next node number will be 48. Height will be 3 and radius will be also 3 and the angle will be 300 for up or the upper direction. So here will be the coordinate for the cylindrical coordinate system. So we have to input this coordinate in the STAD editor. So open a new project and go to STAD editor. Here you have to insert a column and then specify the unit which will be meter, kilonewton and then you have to specify the coordinate system which will be cylindrical R E V E R S E and then we have to insert the node number which will be 1100 24133300 25300 and 48 and now we have to save this here is the coordinate of the spiral staircase as per the input file to view the node number click shift plus n here is the first spiral starting with the node number 1 to 24 and this is the second spiral with node number 25 to 48 
so the next step will be to create the plate with the help of finite element method so we have to check the top surface is on top and the bottom surface is on bottom for this we have to click on fill plate solid surface so go to generate surface mesh then click one by one with the anti clockwise direction So here it's almost done. Now tick off the field plate solid surface. So here we have to specify the support and assign the support. We can assign the support from the front view. Select the end node. The support will be assigned only the landing part because it's a cantilever staircase. It is an example of skyscraper spiral staircase where the thread will be mounted on a metal structure built into the wall hidden from view with the rise between the thread open. We can also consider the IBS or the British code BS5395 table number 2 to calculate the dimension of the riser and thread. Then we have to assign the section property. So click on thickness, then specify the thickness of the slab, thickness of the stair slab, which will be 0.150. Then click on add, close. Then click on assign to view, assign. So the 3D rendering view will be like this. Now we have to add the load, click on load case details, then change the loading type, dead load and live load, click on add one by one, then add the cell foil in the dead load and click on assign to view, then click on live load, add, plate load, as per the ice code the root pressure or the floor pressure is 2.5 to 3 kN but in case of accident the plate load will be 5 kN so click on assign to view after that click on analyze print all at close then click on analyze save then check the error it shows the zero error after that click on post processing to check the stress click on max absolute apply ok so here is the stress diagram check the animation check the animation whether it is stable or not so it shows it's stable. It is better to add the load combination before the concrete design. So add the auto load combination. Add the load factor 1.5 and 1 1.2. Then go to analyze, check the error whether it is zero or not. And it shows the zero error.
and now to check the design click on design then click on concrete design then check the code IS456 then select parameter deselect all the parameter then we have to specify the parameter only these parameters so we have to assign this parameter then click on ok after that click on command then click on design slab element add then click on take off add then click on design element assign to view assign and after that we have to analyze the structure again so again it shows the zero error now to check the design click on the view output file so here is the design so here is the design for the element So this way you can create a spiral staircase very easily. If you like this video then subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video till the end.